morning. Uh, got my Renergy Energy solar panel, Renergy Energy 20 foot extension. Don't know what to remember the name of this adapter that goes from there to the ASE and then my uh, ASE adapters that I've gotten from uh, Nylite so I can plug into my trailer right here. So we'll see what we can come up with. I'll get this all set up. Not a lot of sunlight this morning. Yes, I'm at the house, but uh, we'll get this set up and uh, see what we can do. All right, well, I'm going to move these around, and uh, like I said, no sun, but I'm going to point them in the direction the sun should be and see what's going on. Then we'll watch it throughout the day. How about that? Well, there we go. It's about 20 feet as max as I can get away from the, from the trailer in the garage with this. Yeah, sun's there. We'll see. Looks like it's ginning forward from what I can read. Yeah, it looks like I got 13 volts. Looks like it's outputting 1.2 amps on a very cloudy day. So, that's interesting. As you can see, that's quite a big array for a portable... And that is the Renogy. It's supposed to be 200 watts, so they're 100 watt solar panels uh, linked together. So we shall see what it does throughout the day. Goes in here on the Renogy 20 foot adapters. Like I said, I don't remember what this piece was. And then my, this is part of the, uh, a little bit. This is the Nylite adapter and the mount, and then I just made that so I could have a fuse. All right, now on to the rest of the day. Sun came out. I came out a while ago and looked at this thing. This thing's, I can we get that in there 14 forts ginning. It looks like we, we got two amps going in, which that's fine out of 20. I guess that's all it's requiring so uh, we'll keep watching it 1.1 amp hour that's kind of neat and 14.4 volts so 2.1 amp then again it's still kind of hazy Let me see that I can't even see that sorry right. so well, we got full Sun on it facing right at it Few little scratches on it, but you know, we'll see. 